Hey friends, my name is Heather. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I am the owner of Hot Posh Fashions, and this is gonna be a thrift haul video. Um, I have been thrifting all summer. It is now September, and I am backlogged with my money pile <laughs> so i'm super there's nothing here that i'm not excited about it's just that other things have been kind of taking priority and um, my photographer and my lister are still in the process of kind of going through things so we're not hurting for um, listing material right now but um this is going to be um, a look at the haul of some things i've gotten over the summer so let's get started let's see what are we at <music> I believe okay so this is goodwill um, band of gypsy size medium three dollars and 99 cents and this is a pretty little um, romper little romper um, looks like a mini dress but yeah it's definitely a beautiful little romper um, how are we gonna wash this we are sorting through everything also hand wash cold so we'll put this with the lighter stuff lighter colors Look at this. This is beautiful. Ann Taylor size six. This is wool nylon blend. Look at this beautiful wool sheath dress. Okay, so it's wool, but all this is all embroidered. Look at that. How beautiful is that? That's so pretty. $6.99. Zipper in the back. It's just a really great, beautiful uh, fall winter office piece. Let's see. How are we going to clean you? Chickadee, chickadee, dry clean. Okay, this is our dry clean basket that's overflowing. Um, let's see what we got here. I bought this stuff a long time ago. <laughs> it's been like, eh. it wouldn't surprise me, it's been like two months since I bought this and I'm just now taking it out of the bag. Nine West size 10. And this is a maxi dress. This is really pretty. Sleeveless. Um, oh, look at this beautiful. Okay, so this is like a fit and flare maxi dress. But look at this beautiful. Not only do they have this print, but all this like little unfinished hem. It's tiered all the way down. Isn't that a beautiful little detail? Just to give it that light, airy feel. What are you made out of? Let's see. Here we go. Tags are right here. Whole bunch. Dry clean. Dry clean. Dry clean. Dry clean. But I don't know what we're made out of. Not that it's super, let's see, polyester, but we're going to dry clean you. Okay, let's see. Next, we have somebody, oh, I remember, I did a live thrift to get this. And I, because I remember, um, because somebody said that this looked like Beetlejuice and they were going to buy it on my live thrift, but they thought it was black and white and it's a brown. So this is Ann Klein, size six, and it is a uh, fit and flare knee length dress in a like a cream and brown stripe really pretty good career piece those lines are beautiful they're going to be flattering and i'm i don't know why i'm folding this up but it's probably going to be a dry clean i would imagine i'm going to be dry cleaning forever where is your tag the tags are all hiding from me Ooh, ah! <laughs> She jumped. There we go. All the way up here. Polyester, and we are dry cleaning. Dry clean. Dry clean, random bag stuck in here. All right, this is a really pretty, looks like a great mother of the bride piece. London Times Petite, eight petite. And this was $6.99. This Goodwill does like they're kind of crazy but you know this is before i found my new thrift store and i may never go to this goodwill again if i do i will be extremely picky but this is like a dusty rose color um this beautiful like mother of the bride dress or a worship service dress or whatever really pretty easter um i don't even i'm not even gonna look this is definitely gonna be a dry clean but let's see what it's made out of i don't think it's silk or anything um Probably polyester rayon nylon polyester dry clean Ooh, what's this big coat what is this i don't remember calvin klein size large this was seven dollars and 99 cents look at this big coat 
this is a really nice big coat. Um, it looks like it's missing, no. Yeah, it's missing a liner. It once upon a time had a liner, it looks like. Um, let's see, we are wool polyester and we are dry clean. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go right there on the floor though because the dry clean pile has, has achieved its max capacity, I believe. All right, here's some fun vintage. And when I was doing this um, live thrift, there was someone that was more familiar with vintage than I was and said to go ahead and get this. This is Maggie London by Jean Boer, size 12, 100% silk made in Korea. Korea, does anyone have any experience with this vintage? If you do, please drop a comment in the comments and let me know. But look at this beautiful piece. I mean, the print alone is like super awesome. It's really beautiful. It is a uh, fit and flare, uh, probably knee length, maybe a little bit longer than knee length. Definitely 80s. We've got some nice shoulder pads going on here. Very good condition. Like even the shoulder pads feel like they're in good condition. And I'm gonna say we're gonna dry clean this. Yep, we're gonna dry clean it. Okay, did I say a price? $6.99. This Goodwill is generally $6.99 for their dresses. Um, this is Eddie Bauer, uh, viscose wool polyester, or wool viscose polyester, size medium. And I thought this was really cool. So I actually saw this in another thrift store, like just like a week after I got this one, but it was a, a, in a different color and in much worse condition. This is in really good condition. And it's like a wrap maxi dress slash jacket i don't know it kind of gives me like a winter lag and look feel like it definitely feels lag and look um that's the bottom um if this was a linen like i would it would screams that but it is um wool so i don't know if wool is considered lag and look but that's definitely the feel i'm getting and i believe we're gonna dry clean you <laughs> see side for care hold on what are we gonna do with you do, 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 do. Seaside, seaside, seaside. Side where? <laughs> there! <laughs> bottom? I feel like seaside. Oh, it definitely is at the bottom. <laughs> Let's see. Um, dry clean. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my third video in a row, and my voice is getting a little. I need a drink of water. Like, let's just be clear. That's what I need. A drink of water. Okay. This is Torrid size double zero, which is a small size in Torrid. I don't know what it actually equates to. Maybe a medium or a large. I don't know. But this is a cool little uh, faux fur crop blazer. Cover up with that um, animal print in inside. I just thought it was a really cool looking jacket. And it's Torrid. $5.99. Uh, polyester and dry clean. I'm gonna have to start making a little dry clean pile at the bottom because I definitely see more dry cleanable items here. Talbot size six, uh, $5.99. This is like a ivory tweed with this beautiful trim, very preppy. Let's see what these buttons look like. Oh, they have some type of crust on them. You see that? There's like, mm, I don't know if I can get it to see it. It's like some type of crust. Um, it's lined really well, very well tailored, cotton polyester acrylic, and we are going to dry clean. Really well tailored, very beautiful courier piece. Let's see what we got here. This is a sweater of some sort. Appleseed, another brand I had, don't have any um, uh, experience with. So if you have experience with Appleseed, please drop a comment. Let me know what your experience is with that. I, I think in my live thrift with me that someone said that... Um, it is a catalog brand, which makes sense because it's got a website on here. But I just thought this was a cool piece. Acrylic, nylon, and we are going to hand wash cold. But look at this sweater. I just thought it was a really cool cardigan. Let's get kind of up close so you can see. It's very soft because of the acrylic, but it's just a really cool fall piece, I feel like. I liked it a lot. Um, very soft, very cozy. Put it over there in our coal basket. Again, if you have experience selling apple seed, let me know. This is Olive Hill, size medium. 
this is just fun. Like, I just thought this was fun. Again, another brand I don't have experience selling. So if you have experience with Olive Hill, please drop me a comment. $3.99. And that is a lot for this little blouse, but I thought it was adorable. And um, so that's that. And we'll put it in our light color wash. <laughs> this feels like silk. What is this? This is, let's see, what are you? BKE Boutique, a size small. Uh, polyester does not silk. Uh, we are going to machine wash it. Oh, look at this little shirt. This is so cute. $3.99. Look at this beautiful little cuff, this lace cuff. I love the mix of the multimedia with the two different prints. So there's like a floral print, like a, a ditzy floral, and then like a big floral. So pretty. Great for the fall, like over something else, obviously, because it's sheer. Let's see, this is something sporty, Athleta, size small. And it's a short sleeve shirt in like a green, olive green color. It's really cool, like front swirl right there. And then there's a pocket, a zip pocket in the back, right at the booty, right at the booty. So you can put your phone in there and look, look bootylicious. This has barely been worn. Polyester spandex and closed zipper before washing, cold. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this is, I forgot about this. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about these things and now I'm so excited. This is gorgeous. This was $4.99 and I believe, if I remember correctly, that this is from Japan. I'll have to find the, the tag, but look at that beautiful embroidery. So this is like a satin vest with that beautiful pop of hot color um, embroidery and all of this fur I am almost positive is like a rabbit fur. So um, it's very beautiful. It's all trimmed in fur. Very, very pretty. Um, let me get kind of an up close of, look at that embroidery. How beautiful. So that's like a pumpkin and a bird. And when we go over here, I don't know, they're flowers. I don't know. I mean, they're just, it's just beautiful. Those colors on top of that black. And it's got this um, like Asian, the little buttons, I don't remember what they're called. Um, somebody told me one time, but they're these little like Asian, these little things. I don't remember what they're called. And here's a tag, extra large dry clean. It actually says only dry clean, extra large, only dry clean. Now I can't remember if I just saw that and assumed it was Japan or what. There is no other tag that I can see. Um, I see nothing else. So purely based on style and the fact that I am fairly confident that that is real fur. I believe it's rabbit fur. Um, that's just like amazing. Um, dry clean it says, but I don't know. So I think I'm going to put it in its own bag and put it off to the side and kind of decide what to do with it. We'll put it in this dry clean stuff, but I'm not so sure if I want to put that in there or not. I don't know. Um, this is a cool piece. Let's see. Plain Jane by Sweet Baby Jane, size small acrylic. Um, we are going to wash this, it looks like. And there's the vintage tag. Again, not a brand I have experience with. So if you have experience with Plain Jane by Sweet Baby Jane, please drop it in the comments. This was $6.99. This is like a mustard yellow shoulder pad, uh, probably a midi or knee length uh, dress. All knit, like sweater knit with a mock turtleneck right there. And the, um, what is this called? Blah. Drawing a blank cable knit up front. And then it's got this like waistline right here. And then it goes down to like a pencil skirt. Definitely like a, probably, probably a knee length. Once you like ruche this up a little bit. Cause that's probably needs to be ruched up a little bit like that. And then it would be fitted, but super cool, super cool vintage. Like loving it. Needs a little bit of a sweater shape, but not bad. Now I'm looking for a care tag, or did I already talk about the care? Yes, I did. Acrylic and wash. I already talked about it. That's why I couldn't find it. 
Okay, let's see. Some more vintage. Raul. Again, this was all, I was doing a live thrift and people were actually like, yes, get that. Raul size 12. Um, this is a polyester and we are going to hand wash this. There's the tag. If you have experience with Raul, let me know. This reminds me so much of Rose from the Golden Girls. That is hashtag Rose. Look at that. Um, it says it's polyester, but it does definitely give this a feel of silk. It's a beautiful blue. That's the back. Beautiful blue pockets. It is like a knee length. Look at that. How pretty is that blue? So pretty. These little buttons and then there's like snaps right here. So what did I say we we're doing? Washing it? We're washing it. Let's wash it right here. Um, okay, what we got next? <laughs> 41 Hawthorne, size medium. This is a dress for $6.99. Navy blue and floral. Cute little fall piece. Just like a shirt dress. I'm going to assume this can be washed. It doesn't feel like anything that couldn't be washed. It's got an extra button. Polyester machine wash. Put it over there in the cold. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. The brand cool. K-U-H-L is a really good out outerwear brand that does pretty well. This is a size small. And it's got a um, number in there. I might be able to look that up. Um, they are. They did charge $6.99 for this because it is a dress. But anyways, it's just a little dress, like a teal green and white t-shirt dress with this little cinch waist right here. I'm sure that can be washed. Probably cotton. Feels like cotton. Probably cotton. Okay, here's a beautiful vintage beaded dress. Shoulder pads, $6.99. Black sheath dress. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but look at, there's the top. I'm going to get closer. Look at the bead. There you go. Now you can see it. Look at that beautiful beading. Look at that. And there's the bottom. I could not find any flaws on this dress other than, if I remember correctly, there was not a size tag. Look at that beading. Is that not gorgeous? That's gorgeous. I don't care what anybody says. That's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful dress. Here we go. Night Waves by Samir Sunni Inc. I think is what it says. Night Waves. If anyone has any experience with this, let me know. Um, it is a 100% pure silk, and the lining is rayon, made in India, and the something right here has been cut, so that's probably got the size on it, dry clean, so, but I don't know that I want to dry clean this. I think I might steam this. I think I'm going to steam it. I don't think I want to take a chance of putting it in my um, dryer on the dry clean just because of all the beading and it is in really good shape and I don't think I want to risk damaging it. So we won't. <laughs> okay, this is my Am Vet store right here. Um, $7.98 for this dress. This is Alice Paris, size 16. So we're switching stores for a second. <laughs> this is a beautiful light blue um, plus size dress. Look at that beautiful little brooch on there. Very, it's got the like built-in bra cups, sheer sleeves, and it is a maxi dress. Very long, like I'm 5'9". It's dragging the floor. So either tall with heels or it would need to be shortened. And it's like a dusty blue color. Uh, I think I'm gonna steam this. I don't think I'm gonna put this in the, in the dryer. I think I'm gonna steam it. Let my, my steam basket got knocked over, so let me fix it. And try not to knock anything else over in the process. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Thought I saw something on, thought I saw a spider on my chair, but it's not. <laughs> so we're okay. <laughs> All right, this is a five ninety eight. This is uh, Art Artillier Nicole Miller. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Size eight, but I believe is it like an anthropology brand? I believe I'm pretty sure with Nicole Miller. It's a career piece. 
black top. It's like a knit, a stretch knit at top. And then that's a linen blend down at the bottom with all those beautiful geometric shapes. It is black and cream. Really pretty piece. Size eight. How do you want to be washed? How would you like to be cleaned? It is lined, the black lining inside. Has a zipper in the back. Boop, 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 boop. Where is it? There it is, it's black. It's a black tag on a black liner. <laughs> there it is, dry clean linen viscose spandex. We're gonna dry clean this baby. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is fun. This I found and I just was like, I'm gonna give it a try. This is a, a FUMU, FUBU, sorry, FUBU the collection, size 910, $5.98. It is a denim dress and if I am correct, that brand is like a 90s streetwear brand. 90s 2000s y2k streetwear brand so this is a really cool denim dress very streetwear it's denim so we're gonna wash it <laughs> i don't think you can mess up denim too bad in the wash machine i think you're pretty safe <laughs> this is a torrid piece torrid size two it was five dollars and 98 cents and i believe it's a dress it is this floral dress it is missing whatever the belt was because there's little strings for it probably knee length dress so like a midi dress it is lined um how would you like to be washed let's see so it has a liner it's not the liner's not removable but it is lined okay i don't see anything in the top so let's take it from the bottom let's see there we go there's our tags polyester machine wash um the cut date on this is spring two. Cut date is 12, 10, 13. So it's a 10 year old toward piece, but I think it still looks like it's in style. I mean, I would wear that. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm like the best person to <laughs> ask about style, but speaking of denim, <laughs> so I decided to try these. Um, I've never found Joe's jeans before, and I know that there's mixed reviews so if you have experience with joe jeans give me your mixed reviews in the comments um, but this is a joe's jeans um they charge five dollars and 98 cents for these these are the flawless the icon mid-rise skinny ankle in a size 28 in size 28 really good shape um and they are in like a dark wash so we'll put those over yonder. And this is Paige, premium denim, size 29. And somebody told me that this is an old label. So, you know, $5.98. Old label, but still um, a cool piece. The Roxbury is the, is the style. Cotton spandex made in the USA. Just that, I mean, you can tell it's a nice pair of jeans. Like, um, they're in really great condition, too. And this is also a pair of Paige, size 29. And that apparently is the, this is the tag I've seen a lot. Not a lot, but, like, when I see a Paige tag. That's what it looks like. Size 29, this is definitely the same person, $5.98. This is a lighter wash. Is this also the Roxbury? This is Kylie Crop, which I believe I might have a pair of the Kylie Crop in my store. Um, cotton Lyocell Polyester Elastane made in the USA. Um, just another good pair. It's got some factory um, distressing on it right there. Some factory distressing right through there. So this is much softer. This is like a softer denim. Um, the other two were a little bit um, stiffer. This one's soft. Okay, let's see what else we got right here. Okay, this is Ann Taylor, size eight. This is, I picked, when I touched this, I thought, oh, dear baby Jesus, please let that be leather. Um, They're $3.98 for this pair of pants. Unfortunately, they are not leather, but they were such a good quality faux leather at such a great price. And Ann Taylor is a really good 
bread and butter brand for me. So I went ahead and got them because I was like, you know what? $3.98 for Ann Taylor pants is fine. This is a green faux leather uh, trouser with like a little cuffed ankle there. I mean, it's buttery soft. It's not like plasticky feeling. It's really buttery soft. And I was actually a little bit surprised that it wasn't leather because for a hot minute I was like, but no, it says imitation leather. So yeah, but it says you can wash this, hmm. but don't put it in the dryer. Okay. Well, we might, I don't know. Should we wash it? Turn it inside out maybe and wash it. I think I'll put it in its own bag and put it, and maybe I'll wash it by itself. So I don't risk, I got bags everywhere. I want a little bag. Any little bags? Nope, just these big old juice bags. I guess I've used all my little bags already. Okay, we'll get this bag. I'm gonna put it with the cold wash stuff, but I'm gonna wash it um, probably inside out separately. Okay, so now this is when I was on vacation for the summer. This is from the Carm store. I've never been to a Carm store before. Don't remember what I have here, but let's look. <laughs> it's been like two months. Let's see what we got. Greta Scott, new to me brand with tags. I did run comps on this. This place does run their prices up or mark their prices up size medium, but it does have the tag on it. Um, there's Gret Gretchen Scott. New to me brand, if you have experience with it, please let me know. But I ran comps. They did have this marked for $9.99. And it is a dress, a black dress. And I believe when I ran comps that new with tag, a new with tag medium had sold. I'm going to steam this because it's got tags. I believe a new with tag medium had sold like in the $80 range. So um, I was cool with the. $9.99. This is $8.99. This is postcard. And I believe this is silk, if I remember correctly. Postcard. So that's an anthropology brand. And that's what the tags look like. I can pick these out a mile away. And I very rarely come across them. This is a size 6. And there's a side zipper. And I'm looking for the fabric tag because I'm almost positive that this was silk. <laughs> If my memory serves me, viscose. Oh, silk. Okay. So the lining is viscose and silk. The outside is silk. Um, dry clean only, but let me show you the dress. So there's the front. Cute little A-line. Pink and cream colored uh, silk chiffon mini dress really cute really like preppy boho like not super preppy but the pink i mean this pink we could still go with some barbie core i would still throw in a little barbie what else we got here something white oh this was um okay so this was 6.99 but this is a becca by rebecca virtue and this is a swimsuit cover-up very expensive brand um and it's just a swimsuit cover-up, but this is beautiful white cover-up with all this beautiful crochet lace at the top, at the cuff there, at the bottom. So just really pretty. I think I will put this um, with my only white stuff. Let me just make sure that it is washable. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I don't see any... I see a place that looks like a tag. I might have been cut off up here at the top. I don't see a size either, which is kind of crappy. Did not realize that. And I don't see, but I'm in a, I'm fairly confident that this is washable. It's also something you'd wear to the beach, so surely it can get wet. But I'm going to put it with my whites, my like pure whites. Okay. You are Savannah Jane X or 1X. Okay, so I... Um, this is a new to me brand also. If you know this brand, please let me know. But I got this because even 
the comps weren't great, but I really liked it and I could wear it. Like it's a size I could wear. It was $8.99, but I just thought it was super pretty. So it's just this midi dress, uh, navy blue, like knee length midi dress. But look at all this beautiful embroidery, like all this pretty embroidery all down here at the bottom. I just thought it was super, super pretty. And even if it didn't, even if it wasn't something that was going to be good to sell, I liked it for myself. And like I said, I wear like a large, extra large. Um, it is rayon, uh, hand wash, lay flat. Okay, so we're gonna turn her inside out and put her with the colds. Like I've said, if you haven't heard me already, when I do wash my inventory, I wash it on delicate, a you know, hand wash. Um, regardless of what it is really, I always do the delicate wash. Okay, so this is a new to me brand too, but I did comp this and it looked really good. This, they sold this for $8.99, free of the rose, a size small. And if I remember correctly, this is silk, but this is a cute, super cute mini dress. How cute is that? Super, super cute. And it's got this, it's got the, um, not waistband. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Belt. It's got the belt. Um, 2.7 August apparel. Huh? That must be, okay. So this must be out of Los Angeles. Maybe it's a boutique brand. I feel like if I remember correctly, I must have comped it and it had really good comps. I don't recall, but I wouldn't have bought, I tend to not, I remember comping in this store because the prices were up. So I must have comped it and it had good comps because it is polyester. Um, and I was thinking that it was silk, but it's not. So I must have comped that brand. So if you have, um, <clears throat> if you have experience with Free the Roses, let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. So We'll put this baby, it says it can be washed. We'll put it right there. All right, let's see. <clears throat> what do we got here? I think this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Good quality tag, size medium. Um, do they know what cool is? They kind of do, $8.99. This is a dress. So cool is a pretty good um, quality and resale value outdoor brand. Um, so it's just a little dress with pockets. I'm sure it's cotton and can be washed. They tend to have natural fibers. Made in India, the extra button is in here. Machine wash. It's tensile, 100% tensile. Okay, so we'll wash that right there. All right, that bag is done. Let me go over here, got a couple little bags hiding. Over here, is this a bag too, or is this something else? What is this? This is, oh no, that's something else. Okay. So we got like two small bags here to look at. And then <laughs> we're caught up with everything other than what's in my car that I bought the other day <laughs> at the Labor Day sale. <laughs> okay, so this is a completely different Goodwill, um, but it is, the, I did get this stuff while I was on vacation. Um, at the Goodwill in Sevierville. This is BB Dakota Extra Large, $6.99 at Goodwill. It is a pink um, corduroy jacket. Barbie core. And I believe it's got the extra button inside. That's great news. And we're going to machine wash it. I think we'll put it with lighter colors, though, because I don't want the darker colors to bleed onto that pink, which kind of looks like it might already have a little bit of that. This is Lulu, size small. Cute little orange dress. With pockets. We love our pockets. I don't see... Oh, it has a little green tag on it. I don't, so I don't know what the price was. This store um, that I got this at doesn't always have the prices marked on things. Um, they have like signs up. Rayon polyester, hand wash cold. Put it right there. Let's see, what are you? Lane Bryant, 1416 acrylic polyester polymide. It's got a little green tag on it. It's like a purple metallic, um, lightweight knit. 
sweater knit um, dress, mini dress, knee length dress. I'm sure this can be washed, but we can double check. It's probably, let's see. Yep, washable. Let's see what else we got. Oh, soft surroundings, size medium. I don't know the prices on these things, but this store is reasonable. This particular Goodwill is reasonable. My guess is probably the dresses are probably in the $6 range. And then tops are probably like, this is probably like $4 or something. But anyways, a sheer soft surroundings button-up floral top that I'm sure is washable. And, oh, check out this cool vintage uh, shirt. Ru what's it called? Deborah Laws Collection Size 4. If you have any experience with this vintage, let me know in the comments. But look at this cool vest. Look at that. How cool is that? Now, it's very wrinkled, so ignore the wrinkles. The back is black. It has a zipper up the front. Um, and it feels like linen. Oh, my gosh. That tag is washed out. Okay, so we're not going to get anything off this tag. Maybe if I could use like a camera, like my take a picture of it and maybe like edit to do the contrast, I might be able to make it make this out. But there's the front and there's the back. There is stuff on there, but it is just super washed out. So I might check that and see if I can get any information off of that. So let me put that in with something that I was going to check. Put it there. Because I don't want to, uh, I, I want to be able, I would like to know what the fabric is. So we'll put it right, we'll put it right there. Okay. And then this is, I don't know. I don't know why I got this. Free people, I, I think the price was good on this. I think it was like maybe $3. Free people, size large, also a good size. But it's just a little kind of like basic tank. It is like a gray um, tie-dye tank. The material has kind of got like a floral on it. Um, and then it's got all this beading and lace and embroidery. So, I mean, it's not a basic tee, but it's it's like a step up. <laughs> it's like a basic, very comfortable basic tee with some fancy smancy stuff on it. But it would, although it would look really great and feel very comfortable under a blazer, like, that would, like, if you wanted to wear a blazer on top of that with this showing, but you'd feel really comfortable with it as a shell under a blazer because it's a soft, probably cotton, and it's lightweight. Yeah, it is cotton. Turn out inside out in a laundry bag. Okay, so we're going to turn them inside out and wash them delicate. But, yeah, really pretty. So, I mean, that might be... Maybe I'll be get lucky and find a really cool, um, a really cool um, stock photo. My goodness. Three videos in a row and I cannot talk. All right. So this is a Goodwill. This is, I believe I did a live thrift with this. And it is a Dooney and Burke. And I believe when I was live thrifting, if I remember correctly, that I checked with somebody and that was on the live thrift. And they said that, yes, this was authentic. Um, it has a one of those little key finders. There's a zipper, a zipper pocket in, inside. It's like a canvas with the logo and a leather strap. It's a little handbag, a little shoulder bag, little it's zippered right there, but it is like a canvas. It's not a leather exterior. And I'm trying to find, there was a tag. There it is that I was able to show somebody and they were like, yeah, that's authentic. Made in, what's that say? That says made in China. Do they make Dooney and Burke in China? I hope it's authentic. I don't think I paid much for it. I think I paid like $4 for it. But there's that tag right there. Dooney and Burke. Does anyone? Here's a little number on the back. If you have experience, this seems very old, like vintage-y. So if you have experience with Dooney and Burke and you have any 
knowledge or insight into what I'm showing you right now and you would like to let me know because I don't want to try to sell something as authentic when it's not. Um, so let me know what you think. I'll kind of show you what the stitching's like. And just let me know what y'all think. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't have enough, enough experience with um, luxury to know the difference. Um, these were $5.99. These are bear traps. Really good size, though. Size 11. Um, there we go. Size 11. Big, nice, big size. Um, like nowhere. So that's good. Um, and then, so this is, we're going to, we're going to do these two pairs of shoes and that's the end of this video. And essentially they're exactly the same, um, just in different colors. So I found two of the same pairs of shoes. They are Antonio Milani, um, and just in different colors and they have a really nice insole or the padded foot, $6.99 for the brown and $5.99 for the blue, even though they are exactly the same. There's the bottoms looking good. And there's the tops. They're like a suede with those beautiful toes, all sparkly. Um, and they are size, let's see, six. Six. Looks like size six. So really beautiful. There we go. And they're identical, so I don't know why they charge different amounts for them. But anyways. <laughs> that is that so I really appreciate you for hanging out with me um I have got a million loads of laundry to do um and before I can turn all this stuff over to my photographer and my virtual assistant to list but let's get going because uh this uh summer hauls have started accumulating <laughs> Um, again, my name is Heather. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari with Hot Posh Fashions. And I appreciate you watching today. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.